Hi, Hiram here. Last couple of days I've been doing boil tests using this ever new titanium alcohol stove that I bought. Uh, puts me in the uh, titanium league, I guess. Titanium users. Uh, I did one test <clears throat> where I did a boil with the pot stand and I made a comment that it didn't have a simmer. Then I had uh, Jack, sorry, hang on. Jack Gray Bear told me that the stove is actually made that you can set the pot right on the top here for a simmer. So I tried that and I got a couple more comments since then. Um, what I had done was with that test was I used the pot stand. Once the water came to a boil, I took it off and then simmered and I commented that it burned for such a long time that maybe I should try it without the pot stand at all. Just put the pot on right from the beginning. So Catskill Mountain Girl said that I must do that test. So that's what I'll do today. Also, let me just light this. Also, uh, Winter Trucker said that the click stand people sell this with their stand. And they also say that, well, it, it has an adapter to make it work. But it also says that, he says that you can use the Trangia simmer ring on this. Let's see if I can get this lit here. Okay. You going? There's not much alcohol in this, so maybe that's what's making it go a little slow. So, supposedly you can put this on. Now, I did do it before. The bottom of this ring covers the bottom holes. And it pretty much just lets the top holes go. So let's do this at like about 50, can you see that, 50%. Ah. That's a problem with these stoves. Unless they're well heated, when you put something else on like this, it puts it out. Uh, let's let that heat up a little bit. Also, I had J-H-I-P-P-L ask, I wonder if you could make a snuffer with a fancy feast can. Something like this. Yes, that will work. You can put that right on there and snuff it out. The only problem is, even in the instructions that came with the kit, with the stove, it says that you should burn it out. Uh, don't transport it with alcohol in there. So I guess if you were doing, you know, multiple things, you could use a snuffer and put it out. But normally you just have to let it burn. All right, let's see what happens now. There we go. Now whether or not that's a smaller flame, I'm not sure. Let me see if I can tighten up this. So it is a little bit of a smaller flame, but... Now, if you're going to use the simmer ring, which they, I guess the ClickBook people, ClickBook, ClickStand people do sell it separate, but if you're going to use this, then you're going to have to find some other stand, because now you definitely can't put, ooh, that's warm, you can't put the pot back on top of this. Uh, I'll be doing a video where I'm going to get my stands together and try different ones with that, with this. Anyway, what I want to try today is do a boil test right from the beginning uh, that is not on the cross stand but the pots right on here through simmer the whole bit so let me shut this off get my water prep get this cooled down I think I'll just do it with one fluid ounce but here's the case where JHI PPL asked will this snuff it out yep so you can snuff it with a fancy feast can. So I'll be right back for the test. Okay, I've got my water prepped. Temperature's going up. Let me start this because I think it's going to have to burn for a bit. Okay, now I have I put this up to the one fluid ounce mark. Uh, the other times using two fluid ounces was I think just too much. Unless that's what you want, a long burn. Now, I had it up to the two fluid ounces, which is what? 60 milliliters. This has one more line above it 
for 70 milliliters of alcohol, and that's supposed to be the extent of how far you can go. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, that's burning, but I think I better let this heat up, because sure as anything, I'll put the uh, pot on there and it'll put it out. Okay, again, I'm going to do it, do a test here without the pot stand, just starting right from the beginning with the pot. Okay, my water's at 60 degrees, so let's see what happens here when I go to put it on. Centered. Okay. Wow, that jumped. Okay, this is going to be a little distorted having to play around with putting that pot on there, but we'll see what happens from here. Okay, we're two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 106 degrees. Um, a little bit slower than yesterday, although the starting time is a little messed up. I'll have to look back on the video and see uh, what the temperature was like. My being slow on putting the pot on the burner might mess up the beginning time a little bit. But you can see it's still a nice little flame that was there, the, the same flame as yesterday. Hopefully you can see because of the humidity, it's up to 69% my humidity thing says that it's wet there's humidity all there's moisture rather all over the bottom of the pot that should uh, burn away soon as it heats up so let's see where it goes from here there we have 210 211 212 in 11 minutes 11 seconds okay so that was two cups of water starting at I'll have to check back 60 degrees or more came to a full boil in 11 minutes 11 seconds now let's see how long it takes for run out okay the flames are going still hanging in there they're going okay they're so small I'm gonna say gone at 11 or 1845 cool okay so the point of this little test was to see if this is a slower flame than the full flame when you have the pot stand on with the pot stand on two cups of water starting at 61 degrees came to a boil in 5 minutes 27 seconds then I took the pot stand off and let it simmer today it was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees or more it doesn't really matter in this case but uh, it came to a boil in 11 minutes 11 seconds so that's like double the time of using with using the pot stand so that means it's a smaller flame and then it continued on this uh, continued from there for another seven minutes, seven and a half minutes on one fluid ounce of methanol. So, not bad, I guess. I guess I begrudgingly have to say that, being a Trangia person. But, uh, I don't know. I still say I'm, I'm looking forward to playing with this thing in the cold weather to see how it holds up. It does make all kinds of noises compared to the Trangia. I mean, this thing is just pinging away all the time. So I hope that helps for those that have asked for it. Um, Catskill Mountain Girl, you asked for it. A couple of others did too. Uh, I thank Catskill Mountain Girl. I thank Winter Trekker for the information about the Trangia simmer ring fitting on there. I'll have to try this configuration with some other pot stands to see just what will work with it. I thank JHIPPL, sure wish I knew how to say that, about his comment with using the cat food tin as a snuffer. That can be done. Now I did, I don't know where I put it, I did cut the edge off this 
to try, and that didn't work so hot. But we still have to do some playing around with this. So I thank everybody for their comments. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.